What's going on everyone? My name is Victor and today I'm back with another After Effects tutorial. Today we'll be covering the force field like effect seen in Baby Keem's No Sense music video. So as you saw in that little clip, he goes to touch the window and then it kind of ripples in like a liquid force fieldy like effect. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. But heads up, it does require an external plugin and that plugin is from Red Giant. It's called Chromatic Displacement, but it's a powerhouse of a tool. So if you don't have it, I would highly recommend getting it because it can deliver some pretty crazy looks and I use it all the time. And this is not sponsored, I just really love that plugin. All right, so after you film your subject touching a window or something like that that you want to look liquidy and force field like then you can go ahead and open up that footage in After Effects and then we'll get started. So the first thing you're gonna want to do is duplicate the footage and then once the hand has touched the window you're going to create a mask on the duplicated footage around the hand. And if your subject's hand's moving a little bit, you can turn on the mask path keyframes and then just adjust the mask as you need to. Now go ahead and create a solid, it doesn't matter what color it is, and then place it on the bottom of the composition, so under all of your layers, and then hit that little dot icon so we can isolate it. So now you should be able to see that solid only, even though it's at the bottom of the comp. So now you're gonna go over to the effects panel and find turbulent noise, and and then add that onto the solid. Now go back to the effects panel and search for the effect called ripple and then add that to the solid as well. So for my specific scene, I changed the radius to 16, the type of conversion to symmetric, the wave speed to 1.5, the wave width to 30 and the wave height to 25. Now unclick that little isolate button that we hit earlier so now you should be able to see the entire comp. So now we're going to change the center of the ripple to the middle of the hand. So click that little cross icon and then you're going to press right in the middle of the hand now that you can see it which will then make the ripples radiate from the middle of the hand. So now we need to create a new adjustment layer and then place that adjustment layer in between the footage and then the duplicated footage where you made the mask of the hand. Now go back to the effects panel and add chromatic displacement. You're gonna select for the displacement layer, the solid you created earlier, and the box next to that you're gonna change to effects and masks. Now once again, for my specific comp, I changed the displacement amount to 18 and then the spread chroma to 50 because in that music video, there's not a whole lot of RGB split going on in there, so I just lowered that from 100 to 50. Now we're gonna go and grab that ellipse tool and on that adjustment layer, go ahead and create a mask where you want the ripples to be going and then you can feather it a bit. And then you can keyframe the opacity of that adjustment layer or the mask to go from zero to 100 over the course of a few frames to represent the ripples now appearing after the subject starts to touch the window. Now return back to the layer that you have the hand mask on and you're going to play around with the feather and the mask expansion because when it's rippling around we don't want to see our fingers rippling too. So you want to play around with that until you can cut off that distortion so these aren't rippling. Then to further this effort of not seeing the fingers ripple you can copy that mask and then go back Back to the original layer and paste that mask on there and set the mode to subtract instead of add make sure there's no feather no mask expansion otherwise you'll see a little bit of a weird cutout around the hand and we don't want that now once you've got that down you can then go to where the effect actually starts and then trim that bottom layer so you can then get rid of the subtract mask that's on that layer because if you don't you're just gonna have this black cutout of a hand sitting on your shot the entire time. And that is it. That is how you do Baby Keem's force field like effect seen in his No Sense music video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something. If you did, leave me a thumbs up, comment what you thought down below, and then subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next one.